The federal government says the country is losing as much as $7 billion annually to all thieves and a search has declared war on pirates on Nigeria's waters. The Minister of Transportation, Rotimi Amechi, made the disclosure during the Nigerian Shippers Council Symposium in Lagos. He also confirmed federal government's approval to disburse the Cabotag Vessel Finance Fund in 2020. Ifunaya is a report. Immediately, he came up to the podium to deliver his speech. The Minister of Transportation, Rutimi Amechi, did not daily dally about federal government's declaration of war against oil thieves. They kidnapped 19, 19 foreigners in our water. Is a bastard. 18 of them are Indians. Just one is Turkish. I like the National Assembly to note this. We will fight this war. Nobody will stop us. We are losing $27 billion in the water. Put me. $7 billion for oil bunker. Three helicopters, two fixed wing planes, we will fight that war. So people are benefiting to the detriment of the country? No. Addressing matters arising from the delay in the disbursement of the Cabotage Vessel Finance Fund, the minister announced that approval has been given for the vessel acquisition fund to be paid out to ship owners. We've got approval to disburse the cabotage funds. The president has given the approval, everything is just now in of transport, and will be in the kids by next year. The event, which had in attendance prominent operators in the maritime industry, outlined several areas of growth for the sector. We are located at the center of West and Central Africa. We have a long coastline. We have the longest inland waterway in the continent of Africa, 10,000 kilometers. We have 3,000 kilometers of navigable waters. 28 of our 36 states are navigable all year round. We have every potential. We've got smart people. We've got everything to become the hub of maritime industry in West and Central Africa and in the whole of Africa. We are leveraging on the PPP to also provide infrastructure. I think towards the end of next year, we'll crystallize. We'll have security on our waters. We'll have security on our internal roads. We're going to introduce a law to govern the carriage of goods by land in Nigeria. And we are also going to have all the infrastructure at the ports, um, you know, improved. The consensus is that leadership is key in creating the synergy that can guarantee an enabling environment that would propel Nigeria's maritime sector. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.